Tony LeCantra, and I'm at the Low Emissions Conference here in Perth, and I'm joined today by Mr. Scott Williamson, Managing Director of Blackstone Minerals, code BSX. G'day, Scott. Hi, Tony. I believe from our last interview that you've had some success with your targeting, uh, and tell us a bit about that. Yeah, thanks. Um, so, we've done an IP survey, and that's indicating we have a large sulphide bearing body over in British Columbia. and. Um, we've also done some soil sampling above that uh, IP anomaly and that's showing copper, cobalt and gold. So it's a much larger uh, anomaly than we expected and this could be potentially the source of all the mineralisation that we've been seeing since we picked up the project uh, nearly 12 months ago. So we've, we've, we've got high grade cobalt and gold and now we have this large IP anomaly which could be the source. So yeah, excited to put some holes into that as soon as we can. So do you have to go through a uh, winter or a wet season? Yeah, so it's now winter uh, yep. and there's also a permitting process. So we can drill in winter and we spoke about this last time, the, the costs are a little bit higher to, to drill, drill in winter. Um, but if we have the funding and we have the, have the, uh, the targets then we can drill in winter depending depends where the market's at and, and, yeah. um, and a few things like that. So yeah, we, we, we might drill it in winter if, if we need to, um, but we've also got other assets that we can work on over the summer. Okay, so what are some of your other best assets? Yeah, so our, our, our summer um, program will involve our Silver Swan South asset, which is near Kalgoorlie, and so we're a long strike of Kanauna Bell, and we're just to the south of the Silver Swan uh, nickel mine. So we're looking for nickel sulphides, and also gold. Um, so we've got all the signs of a nickel sulphide um, bearing system. Uh, we've got nickel, copper, PGEs, cobalt. Um, yep. So yeah, we're looking to test that um, over this period, over the um, over this uh, summer season in Australia, um, and that'll keep the news flow going uh, until we move back to uh, Canada in the new year. So uh, Blackstone well funded. Yeah, we have 1.3 million in the bank at the end of the quarter, so that gives us enough to, to do a bit of work in Australia. So a lot cheaper to drill in Australia, um, particularly being so close to Kalgoorlie. So 1.3 million is enough to put a few holes into the Silver Swan South target uh, for nickel and, and gold. So yeah, that's enough to, to keep things going and then keep the, the drill bit spinning. So when do you expect to be drilling? In Australia? Yeah, we're well, hopefully in December, uh, yeah. that's the plan. Uh, if not December, depending on uh, availability of rigs, it'll be early in the new year. Okay. Okay, Scott, a lot to look forward to. Thank you. Thanks, Tony.